Hello everybody. In today's video, I will show you how you can quickly and easily read employee master data in the SAP HCM module via an API. So I have opened the transaction PA20. It's the HR master data. And I type here in test personal number. And we see here some information about the personal area, cost center, contract. We see here different tabs, different um, info types and so on. And today I show you the info type 105 called for communication and for employee self-service ESS processes in particular, it is important to link the SAP personal number with the SAP user. And this info is stored in this in the info type 105. You see here personal number, system ID, and so on. And in the example program, which I have prepared here already, um, I will show you how which uh, API, which class I use to do this. So I create an object here, OEMP for employee, and I create an instance of CLHCMFAB employee API, and I call here get instance. So next, I want to know the name from a personal number. For this, I create a variable LV name, and then I type here my created object, OEMP, and I call the method getName. And here I pass my personal number or a personal number, what I want. So, and I want to display the result with CL demo output display. And here I pass my variable LV name. So pretty brand activate and we run the program and we see here the output is John Doe. So let's go back and we see here the name is John Doe. So next I want to know the personal number with the given username. So I declare here variable LV here in error. Then I call the method get employee number from user. This is my user ID, user one. And I pass here the username. Then we can display the variable LV pair and error run the code and we see here the personal number. Okay, so we can uh, fetch some more data. Oh, you can pass here the CU, CU name as well if you want for the current locked user. And we can fetch here some more details about the, the user. So I declare here in structure and I call the method get get employee details and here I have to pass two parameters first the personal number and second the application ID and for the application ID I call here a constant first the interface HCMFAB constants and then GC for global constant and application ID. And here I pick my personal data. For example, I close this, then I activate the code, but I have to change, copy the variable to the output function. Okay, data type is not yet supported on my system. Okay, so let's set an breakpoint. So I can show you the data in the debugger. Okay, double click on the structure LS details. And here we see 
different structured information. For example, employee number, cost center, company, personal information, address, and so on. So I have hidden the information here because I am on our development system. So this, this class, this API and these methods are a big advantage because you don't have to call the info type information by your own and you don't have to select the data by your own. It's all uh, in this uh, class and in these methods. So yes, um, as I said before, um, for employee self-service processes in particular, it is important to link the SAP personal number with the SAP user. And this info is stored in the info type 105. Okay, so if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I'm always happy to get a few likes. Also write something in the comments. I always like to read them and I also reply to them. Take care and see you in the next video.